Now going over to the business blunder of the day, you have Boeing asking airlines to check for a possible missing part on their iconic 737 MAX. Now this comes to us thanks to Gregory Wallace over at CNN. They know that a missing piece on an aircraft prompts Boeing to ask airlines to inspect all 737 MAX jets. Now they were asking them to inspect all the 737 MAX jets specifically for a potential loose bolt under the rudder system after an airline discovered a potential problem with a key part on two aircraft. An unnamed international air airline found a bolt was missing a nut in the rear rudder control linkage mechanism while conducting routine maintenance, and it was found a similar bolt that wasn't properly tightened in and yet to be delivered to the plane. An airplane's rudder is used to control the stability of the aircraft while in flight. Boeing said the plane with the missing bolt was fixed, but wants to ensure all 1,370 737 MAX planes in service worldwide were checked for similar problems. In a statement from Boeing, they came out and said, quote, The issue identified on the popular air airplane has been remedied. Out of abundance of caution, we are recommending the operators inspect their 737 MAX airplanes and inform us of any findings, unquote. They also informed the Federal Aviation Administration, which said th last Thursday that the inspection involves look for a, quote, a possible loose bolt in the rudder system, unquote. The inspection usually takes two hours, according to the FAA. The airlines will report progress of their inspections to the regulators. Let's see here. In terms of Boeing, they're talking about how they've had all these. Again, in terms of the business blunder of Boeing, it's it's getting worse. Than, again, they're still the one of the top airline manufacturers on the planet, one of the biggest defense contractors on the planet. They're not going to go away overnight, don't get me wrong. And due to the enormous amount of startup capital needed to actually compete with Boeing, I'm even, there's very little they can do to go out of business. Don't get me wrong, it still happen. I just think statistically speaking, it's, the likeliness is very little. Now, in terms of their past issues in 2023, they noted that Boeing's engineering and quality problems have po posed major challenges for the company. The crashings of two 737 MAX jets that killed 346 people on board the flights led to a crippling 20-month grounding of the plane earlier last in 2023. It's also one of the most expensive corporate tragedies in history, costing Boeing more than I kid you not, I had to reread this. It cost Boeing more than $20 billion. That is a pretty penny. Well, I should clarify, a vintage pretty penny since modern pennies are 99.99% zinc, which is also known as trash. Vintage pennies, however, are made of majority copper, which has a myriad of uses and is actually worth something. Let's see here. Let's see, they also know the plane left the factory. Now, they also know if the plane left the factory with the missing part, it indicates that the past three years of safety and cultural improvements and improved inspections on critical safety of the vehicle systems of Boeing isn't working, unquote, which, how could that be possible? I mean, I'm pretty sure they have some great unions that make, that make the planes. Uh, huh? No, oh, never mind. So it'll be interesting to see, again, this, it's, it's a pretty big business blunder, because again, if it went, if they actually sent these out without actually having the bolts in place, that's even worse, yellow not torquing it properly, but again, <coughs> excuse me, apologies. To have one of your largest and most iconic products where you have such a potentially detrimental issue and these issues keep popping up, 2023 for, is for a rough year and they're not off to a good start. It seems to be Boeing is starting off the year on a, eh, not, not the right, uh, I was going to say the right foot, perhaps on the wrong airfoilage, something to that effect. But that certainly is the business blunder of the day. Thank you again for taking the time to tune in today. Again, we're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of January. So if you click that button, I greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a comment is a great way to give me some feedback. Let me know how I could improve the show. Liking the video also is greatly appreciated since it helps with the YouTube and Rumble algorithms so the video gets more shared. Also, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers. Heck, tell, me, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe. Fight the good fight.